right guys, I just want to talk for a minute about um, glands uh, removal and identification. I've got a coon here and you know, coons are not good as it is. There's the market's just nothing for them right now. So uh, another way you can kind of recoup some money is to get some glands out of them. So uh, I'm gonna show you some glands at work, even if you want to, you know, keep them for yourself, age them and, and use them yourself. Uh, first we got, this is the, underneath the ear. Right here underneath the ear, you got all this big pad right here. All this right here is a gland on each side. And then you got right there a little lima bean looking looks like a tick right there and right there those are glands and moving on down let me flip him around here moving on down you can get the uh the gallbladder the kidneys the bladder uh, some guys get the liver. Um, I don't mess with that stuff. You can get the bladder out. And if it's full, you know, dump that in your urine bottle. But uh, you come down here, you get reproductive organs, which I've already got the bone out for another, another thing you can remove, you know. And uh, right here, right in the abdomen right here, where the bone would be, you got glands on each side, right there. You got the reproductive, get his nuts out. Take those, and then uh, his butt. Cut around his butt. And on a coon, I only go about maybe four or five inches or so. Coyote, you wanna do like a six inch five to six inch clean all the poop out of the intestine you know and just cut around it and pull it out I'll have to show you in another video when I do my coyote one I'll show you um, and then you got the hawks right there you got a hawk on each side hawk gland this these here a lot of times come out while you're skinning this one here was on the other side See how little they are? They just look like a tick. Clean all the fat off of them. And um, cut those out. And on a coyote and fox and bobcat, you can get the, uh, the big pad on the feet. Um, honestly, I don't know if you can get coon. I don't know what you would take off of it. Uh, if there's one there, I'm sure there's got to be one right there. I'm not going to mess with it. But uh, that's about it on, gland, on glands on these coons. But it'll help, you know, recoup some money. A lot of lure, bait and lure makers want these and they'll pay you so much for them. So besides the other markets we have, you know, there's that. Uh... Hope it helped you some. When I do my coyote and bobcat glands, I'm actually gonna remove them. And I'll have Jen in here videoing so, so I can do it and show you that they're the same glands. My, you know, with the exception of the hot, the, um, the rear pads, the pads. You can get the front too, I guess. But uh, that'll be at a later date. So that's it for now, later. Hey guys, one thing I got to mention about the forgot to mention about the uh, the glands, freeze them fresh, and um, preferably in something that won't break for shipping. If if you're gonna ship them to a buyer, freeze them fresh. Later.